So in this question, we're given six straight line graphs and we're asked to match each equation in the table to the correct graph. And we're asked to write the letter of the graph in the table. So we have the table over here. So in this column, we have the equations and we need to write the letters of the graph in the corresponding box. So firstly, if I start off with the graph of y is equal to 2, so this is going to be a straight line graph and it's going to be a graph that all of the points on the line have a y coordinate of 2. So if I have a look at the graphs, we need a graph in which every point on the line has a y coordinate of 2. So it's going to pass through the point 0, 2. It's going to pass through the point 1, 2. No matter what the x coordinate is, the y coordinate will be 2. And this is true for this graph that we have here, graph D. The y coordinate of the graph is always at 2, so this is going to be the graph of y is equal to 2. So that gives me D here. We then have y is equal to x as the next graph that we're working with. So this basically means that whatever the value of y is, x has to be the same value. So if y is 0, x is 0. So we know the graph goes through the origin. If y is 1, x is 1. If y is minus 2, x is minus 2. And that means we're going to get basically a diagonal line through the origin. And we've got two examples here. We've got this one here, graph C, and then graph F. And we can see that this line in graph F, it is true that the x and y values are always going to be equal. So for example, when x is 2, y is also 2 for this point on the line. However, for graph C, when x is minus 2, y is positive 2. So this is not the same. So y is equal to x is going to be the graph F here. And then finally here, we have the graph of x plus y is equal to 2. Now this looks a bit different to the kinds of graphs that we're usually working with. However, it's easy to kind of manipulate to understand. So we're often used to working with graphs in the form of y is equal to something. So we can just rearrange this. So x plus y is equal to 2. If we subtract x from both sides, we end up with y is equal to 2 minus x or minus x plus 2. So we, this is going to be a graph, if we look at this, the coefficient of the x term has a gradient of minus 1 and a y-intercept here, the plus c of 2. So a graph that has a y-intercept of 2 and a gradient of minus 1. So this graph has a y-intercept of 2 here, however its gradient is positive 1, it's increasing. And this graph here has a y-intercept of 2 and the graph is decreasing, so it has a gradient of negative 1. So this is going to be the correct answer here. So graph A is going to be the correct graph here. So this question is worth two marks. We'd get the first mark for getting two of these graphs correct and then the second mark for getting all three graphs correct here.